The historic railway station in the royal city of Hua Hin, Thailand, host venue of the 2014 Centara World Masters Golf Championship. People travelled here by train when the Thai royal family chose Hua Hin as its holiday destination in 1924. While these days most people come by road to this rapidly growing and popular seaside city, the train remains an appealing option. Hua Hin's long sandy beach is right next to the village-like town centre, where winding narrow streets are packed with restaurants, shops and bars. The beach is one of the best on the Gulf of Thailand for swimming and water sports, children's horse rides, playing games or just taking a leisurely stroll in the late afternoon. The Centara Grand Beach Resort and Villas, dating back to the early 1920s when it was known as the Hua Hin Railway Hotel, remains one of the grand hotels of Southeast Asia. As host resort of the Centara World Masters, it was the focal point of the tournament, hosting grand opening and closing events and staging a popular 19th hole every night on its spacious lawns that extend to one of several pools and the beach. The first day of the Centara World Masters gets underway at Banyan Golf Club. Enthusiastic competitors in the men's divisions of the tournament leave the staging point in their carts to play one of the kingdom's truly great golf courses. A lively, fun atmosphere made this opening round of the inaugural Centara World Masters a special occasion. Naturally, expectations among the players were high, but what lay in store? Let's find out. The first group on hole one comprised tournament sponsors who showed the way with perfect shots down the middle of the fairway. And here's another great tee shot on the difficult par three fourth hole. And a deliberate drive puts this golfer in a great position on the ninth. Meanwhile, over on the 18th, the putts were dropping on this tricky par 4 finishing hole. A perfectly placed tee shot on the tough 10th hole, where the fairway can be especially hard to hit. The par 3 15th is Banyan's signature hole, with Sing To or Tiger Island in the distance. While the men were completing their round, the afternoon ladies groups on day one were busy on Banyan's practice green, preparing for whatever lay in wait on the course's rolling greens. Imperial Lakeview Golf Club hosted players on day two of the tournament. This lovely layout, with an abundance of water in the form of a large lake and several streams, tested competitors who enjoyed their outing on the A course of the 36 hole layout. Players sported a variety of attire. And they demonstrated a variety of shots. But whatever the style, most managed to get the job done. Players arrive at Majestic Creek on the third day of the Centara World Masters where they were greeted by owner Kun Tanachai, who welcomed them 
to this delightful 27-hole course set in rolling countryside, just 30 minutes from Hua Hin. Tournament organiser Peter McCarthy introduced Kun Tanachai to competitors at the front of the clubhouse. Majestic Creek's casual open-air bar area was a buzz of activity before the round started, providing players with an opportunity to relax and have a cool drink before tackling the testing layout. Majestic Creek's caddies are among the friendliest in Thailand. Their warm welcome set the scene for a great day of golf. Then the procession of carts for the shotgun start began. Majestic Creek's first hole is wide and sufficiently open to give confidence at the start of the round. The short par three second hole requires an accurate tee shot to set up a chance for birdie or par. Here's how the enticing par three eighth hole should be played three great tee shots over water to an elevated green. This shot earned nearest the pin for Graham Scott of Stonecutters Ridge Club in Western Sydney. Putting on the tenth hole with Majestic Creek's large modern clubhouse in the background. The final day of the inaugural Sintara World Masters was played at Black Mountain, rated number one course in Thailand, where the kart staging area was packed before play began. Vietnamese professional golfer Nung Tang showed how it's done on the beautiful dogleg 10th hole with a wonderful tee shot, followed by an equally impressive approach to the green. The next hole, the par 3 11th, is one of Black Mountain's best and most testing, but these players all handled the overwater tee shot with ease including US PGA pro Joe Miller, now general manager of Da Nang Golf Club in Vietnam and one of the tournament sponsors. Joe enjoyed the 11th hole so much, he reckoned this beer was well earned. Dablo Sportswear's Tyson Powers hits a cracking tee shot on the uphill par 4 12th hole. While over on the 14th tee, there was at least one excellent shot to the green. And one not so successful attempt that took a couple of skips in the water before disappearing out of sight. The elevated green on the 15th hole proved tough to sink apart. Not so for Joe Miller, as he rattles in a birdie putt on the short par 4 16th. Mm -hmm. 
Black Mountain's finishing hole, a beautiful par 5 that plays to the clubhouse, proved a real test for most players, who were happy to walk off with a score. Boyd Vickers of Emerald Queensland sank his final putt to win the men's 35 to 55 B grade division. Then it was party time for the end of tournament presentation event, marking the conclusion of a highly successful and enjoyable week of golf around the delightful seaside city of Hua Hin, Thailand.